watch me grow Always active, never keep it on the low I'm trying to eat it with my bros, but I might eat alone Only focused on the present, cause the future unknown What's going on everybody? You're tuned in to another episode of the Peaceful Leaders Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. My goal for this is literally just to pull back the curtains and show you what I'm really going through as an entrepreneurial musician. This is really for entrepreneurs, musicians, anybody who's trying to make their life better. You really don't have to be a musician to listen to this. That's kind of just the main vehicle that I'm using in my entrepreneurial journey. So with that being said, before we do get started with the topic, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification. Leave a comment. You know how to do all that good stuff. Get the algorithm going. But basically, I'm just trying to deliver value to you for free, not really asking you for anything in return other than just some engagement on this social media platform. If you're listening to this on iTunes, obviously, give it a rating and review. That would really be a, uh, mean a lot to me. So let's jump right into it, though. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're probably super busy. So... Here's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the topic of who to get advice from. So I've talked about this before, but it's an important topic and it's a really, hmm, how do I say this? In my opinion, it's very debated. Not even to say my opinion, but like just in my world, who to get advice from and when to get advice and how to implement it. That can be really difficult. And I know for me, I'm the type of person that is so, like, I love learning so much. I love learning. I love getting advice from other people. I love sharing advice as well. I mean, I'm sharing advice now. <clears throat> but I really love getting advice from other people. And so, I, I've gotten advice from a lot. This is honestly, this is a huge topic. This is a big topic. So, let me just start kind of taking it back to some a musical part of the journey. So, like, Okay, let me break down the walls here. So, a while ago, right, when I was, there was a while ago, you know, when there was this one specific, like, person that I was following on YouTube and Instagram that was really, like, into their content for music marketing. For a long time, I was waiting for that person to drop their course. <clears throat> and they ended up dropping their course. At the time, it was a lot of money, um, but I invested in it because I always believed in investing in myself. Got the course, watched the course. I personally just at the time didn't like it. I didn't like it because it didn't really give me a plan. It was kind of just like a big, look, the point is I didn't like the course. I didn't like it, I didn't think it was that good. It wasn't helping me. It offered a pretty solid community, but there wasn't like a lot of people around that were able to really help me get to where I wanted to go. So it wasn't really worth it. Um, I ended up maybe thinking like maybe it was me. Maybe it just wasn't for me. I ended up then investing in that same person's higher ticket coaching program like way later down the road, like almost a year down the road because I was like, look, this person has done really well with music, so I want to get close to him and learn. And essentially, it was some one-on-one -on -one time a little bit, but it wasn't as helpful as I wanted it to be. Um... Again, it was kind of just like going through that same course that I had already gone through that I rejected that I didn't like. <clears throat> the community, again, wasn't that good. And I don't mean by that good as in like the people weren't good people, but it was like there was no like really big experts there that were helping. So I ended up not continuing the coaching program. It was sort of a waste of time and it was a huge waste of, not a waste of money, but it was like, it wasn't getting me what I wanted, like at all. So... What I learned, though, was I came to find out, really, like, through my own just intuition, that the person I was investing in had made way more money coaching than actually with music. And it occurred to me that that was a very good lesson in knowing, like, who I should listen to. <clears throat> and, I, and even if you're not paying somebody for advice, you listening to them and implementing what they tell you, that could be more costly. Than, than just than just paying money, right? Because you could be losing a lot of time. So I learned really like from that lesson that like when it comes to who you listen to, who you work with, who you do business with, like you gotta verify people, like 100, 100% verify them. And 
I didn't, like, I thought this person was verified because, you know, they were all, like, super big following on Instagram and YouTube and they had, like, a big audience. They were really good at marketing. I don't know if they had made a living from music, but they made a much bigger living in coaching people with music. So, my point is that I learned quickly to verify people, okay? The other thing... Now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna transition though because this this part is a this is an interesting caveat into it. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna jump into later in the story. So so that ends right. Um, then I've just recently gotten into another program. Okay, this is an amazing 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 program. Um, I'm not gonna say their name or anything like that, but it's it's a different thing. It's for it's for um it's for social media marketing agency owners how to build their agency. Okay. It's basically like has a course, a ton of videos in the course though, like tons of videos. Um, has an amazing community and amazing coaches. Basically they do like coaching calls Monday through Friday. I think it's like, yeah, like, yeah, I think it's Monday through Friday. And they do coaching calls Monday through Friday where they have these coaches come on and you, you get to talk to them. Now, these coaches, have all they all own marketing agencies that make over a hundred thousand dollars in revenue per month. One more time. On these coaching calls, there's agency owners who own agencies that do over a hundred thousand dollars in revenue per month. That means they're doing over a million dollars a year in revenue. These are the people coaching you. I talked to one guy who his is doing two hundred and fifty thousand a month. $250,000 per month in revenue. And I'm asking them questions. That's a good community right there. It's going to be really difficult to find something like that in the music space. So I'm not expecting it. But the point is, if you're going to go get coaching from somebody, or if you're going to talk to somebody or get advice from somebody, get it from someone who's really been there. I'm going to add another layer to this though. Because like that's not the end all point. Because now you could, I could end the video and I could end this podcast and be like, so make sure you get advice from the right people. Here's the thing though. There might even be times where you don't want to get advice from anyone for just a period of time. And let me explain that. So currently, right, one of the things I'm doing is I do, um, I partnered up with somebody else and I'm working with their agency. Okay. And I'm basically heading the sales department. Okay. <clears throat> but when I'm as I'm learning sales myself and getting better at that, there's a part of it where you want to learn. And the best way to learn is to find people who know more than you and talk to them, like one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so I've been getting that. Here's what the problem was, though. I was going to so many different people, and I was getting advice from so many different folks that I was getting too confused. I was getting too much information. I had information overload. I would get on my calls, the sales calls with with prospects and like, I didn't know what, I, I knew what to say but I was overthinking it. Too much was going on. And I realized bro, I was getting overcoached. And so I'm not saying not, I'm not gonna go back and listen to those people. All I'm saying is I'm taking a little tiny break now from more information overload and I'm just practicing. I'm doing role play with my team and I'm getting in there and doing it. And I'm kind of taking a step back from like having to learn. Like I kind of got what I needed for right now. I'll go back in when I need more help. But so the point of what I'm saying is like you need to, you, there is going to be a point where you kind of need to stop. Not because it's, you don't want to keep learning. You always want to learn, but you, you're going to get information overload and you don't want to do that. So my point is try to get as much information as you can from the right people, but then take a step back and stop and trust yourself and listen to yourself. That is really the key to what I'm saying right here. Tr get to a point where you trust yourself and believe in yourself and then go get more coaching or go perform. That's not to say that if you're learning, you don't believe in yourself. Basically, the reason we're going to learn something is because we're like, well, I don't know the information. I don't trust that I know the information. When you get to the point where you trust, all right, it's okay to take a step back for a second, 
kind of put like a small pause on the learning of that and go actually apply it. That's a big issue that a lot of entrepreneurs have. We get obsessed with the learning, we get obsessed with the busy work, we become information zombies. Stop that, seriously, go apply something and learn from your application. That's the best way to learn. Really the best way to learn is having a mentor, somebody one-on-one -on -one who's ahead of you, giving you the access to what they had and using that. But the other way is you gotta get your own experience. You have to get your own experience. You have to apply your skills and what you've learned to something to find out if you're even good at it or not, to find out what works and what doesn't. I could sit here and give you a whole masterclass on Facebook ads easily, but that doesn't mean you're gonna be good at Facebook ads. You need to go spend your own money, use your own creatives, test your own audiences, test your own landing pages. There's so many alternatives. You gotta go find out for yourself. And I, and I wish I had learned that lesson sooner. And that's kind of why I'm here on this podcast to try to help save you some time, right? So listen, I, I hope you got some value out of this. I hope this was a good lesson. Do me a favor again, if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, leave a comment, right? Leave a comment on some advice that you've gotten that has really helped you. That, that, would, that would be awesome if we could share that kind of information together, all right? And of course, if you're on the podcast listening to this, share this with a friend, rating and review, you know all that good stuff, all right? Thank you guys so much for listening to another episode of the Peaceful Leaders Podcast. My name is Lizzie the Gifted, and I will talk to you again next time. Peace!